Welcome to Time to Replay Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse. Eight years later, I restart this LP because I never finished it while well, I finished the LP but not the game. So, yeah, really looking forward to finishing this game. This is an awesome Castlevania game. You can play as different characters, so yeah, this is going to be very fun, so here we go. So we read the storyline right here. At the chain, no, that's the morning star. Oh, cool. So, in this game, you play as Trevor Belmont. I won Simon. This game is a prequel. Trevor Belmont is a descendant or descendant or ancestor of Simon Belmont. game is an awesome soundtrack as well. It came out in 1990. I remember back in the day, me and my cousin looked through a Toys R Us catalog, I think it was, and we found the we found the box for this game, Dracula's Curse. And we were freaking out. Whoa, they have a part three out. Castlevania three is out. Because we were playing Simon's Quest a lot. Yes, Ron Moore fits perfectly. Ron Moore. All right, here's the awesome beginning. ECW. Yeah, so when I, me and my cousin saw this in the catalog, we freaked out, and unfortunately, we never got to play it. Well, maybe he did eventually when he was a kid. I don't know, but um, I didn't get to play this till after I was an adult. Back in 2008 is when I played it, and yeah, I mean, man, this game's freaking awesome. What threw me off, though, was Thomas Quest has better graphics. I'm not saying graphics make a game, but I was thrown off because I'm like, shouldn't the graphics be about the same or better than the Simon's Quest? But whatever. I think a lot of people were disappointed in Simon's Quest, so they wanted to go back to the original original formula, I guess you can say, of the original Castlevania. Ah, whoa, where did that bat come from? Love the design of this part of the level. One of my favorite tracks in the game is right here. For the longest time, at first, I thought, before you even play this game, that Simon was in it. You know, Simon Belmont's back when, nope, this is Trevor Belmont. Get it. All right. Oh, jeez. We're playing a lot of Castlevania games lately. Just finished the LP of the original one, as you guys know, and then on the S2K channel, I just finished Bloodlines. Now I'm doing this one. For those of you who are curious as to why I'm skipping Simon's Quest and went to this one, that's because I did finish Simon's Quest. Yeah, let's finish Simon's Quest. Talk like Sean Connery here. I did finish Simon's Quest, but not on this channel. I finished on my S2K channel. I will put the link to part one of that LP in the description box. And of course, Medusa heads are back. They gotta be in this game. Well, watch out for these platforms. Love the design of the stage. Now 
love how the moon reflects off the buildings and stuff. Looks pretty cool. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, jeez. There we go. Hunchbacks are back in this level, man. I mean this level in this game. And of course, these things too. Nice. About time that thing worked for something. I know it worked earlier also, but usually when I get that thing, there's no enemies around. Ah, jeez. I'm about to die already. Come on, where's food? Food, where's turkey at? All right, but the first boss battle here. I'm about to die already because I ain't got that much energy. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes, I got this, I got this. Yes! Nice, I thought I was going to die. I didn't. All right, nice. Up there says BLK 1-4. I thought it was a stage 4, 1-4, but... What does BLK mean? Block? What? Alright, that's the end of level 1 of Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse. See you guys in part 2. Until then, God bless. Take care.